David Iweta joins us as the President, Sapolet Chamber of Commerce. Good to have you this morning. My pleasure. Good morning. You've uh, heard what the MDNP has uh, said concerning uh, the sector and the reforms of the sector, but uh, we're trying to also look at some of the complaints that uh, you have also brought uh, before the nation, and it has to do with uh, the ease of doing business around the ports, and she also highlighted the uh, export complaints uh, from uh, the exporters. Tell us uh, what is being like around the ports. Well, thank you so much. And uh, I would want to say that uh, she touched much on some of the issues that are actually affecting export of commodities or general cargo out of the Nigerian ports. Um, the issue is that uh, there are too many agencies in our ports and um, the infrastructure decay in our ports is one major challenge because two the there are areas set aside for export there are areas set aside for import cargo and all of those have been taken up by the import you know arm of it because as we speak Nigeria actually do not have the volume of outward bound cargo, which is export. And by all of that, the owners of vessels, irrespective of the fact that Nigeria are coming in with cargo, they are not interested in coming to Nigerian ports. The reason is that if you come with about 200 containers, you may hardly get 30 full you know, cargo going out. So when they come in with cargo, they don't have cargo going out because there is no export. And when there is no export, a ship owner consider how much am I taking in and how much am I taking out. Now they don't have anything because gone are the eras of export of rubber. Gone are the era of export of palm produce. Gone are the era of export of coal and other commodities like groundnut, cocoa, coffee, all of that out of Nigeria. So if you even improve by investing so heavily in the Nigerian ports, there is not much you can get out of it because the corresponding aspect, which is the outward bank cargo by way of export, is not there because the agri sector that is supposed to be enjoying this sector is poorly funded. And I decide to begin to feel that when we say diversification, which is the agro, it is not diversification, it's intensification. Because agri had been there, other aspects had been there, we merely neglected them. We are not coming to diversify to what had not been prior existing. So what we have is that the Nigerian ports today have been said to be concessioned. What is the definition of concession? You were an owner and operator of an item. Said to be. And you now concessioned it to Mr. A. Mr. A now become the custodian, ownership, manager for that period of the concession. And therefore you, the original owner, which is NPA, you are only there as a moderator to collect your fees, which is the amount at which you have concessioned. And if you left some aspect in your hand in the concessionary, concessionary management field, like maybe you'll be supplying them power, providing them security, providing them some other basic infrastructure that those guys who came in as a tenant could not provide, and you are not providing that aspect of it, then you are not making that man whom you concession this item to, to properly function. And again, by the way of concession, the guys who are coming, they are paying you a fixed fee, and they have to create the mathematics to recoup their investment as to above what they are paying to you. Therefore, the port is commercialized. And if it is commercialized, there is no way you can be competitive to other economies that are in your neighborhood that are not, that are not concession their ports. Therefore, their own rates operating in their ports will be cheaper 
than the one you have commercialized. So that is one major issue where cargo that are supposed to even come more than what it is now are not coming. Because there are landlocked countries around Nigeria who ordinarily should be patronizing our ports. But again, efforts in the NPA are all geared and targeted towards Lagos ports. And that is a thing that is very, very awkward. So that's just concentration on developing Lagos ports. Yes. Now, do you but, know... You, you heard her when we asked the question about other ports, the Wari ports, the Calabar ports, and uh, her answer, uh, why, uh, what they're doing in those areas. Good. Now, when you ask her the question on how, what they're doing in Wari port, and she talked about sweeping, the Wari port is not sweeping. It's absolute dredging. The draft at the entry channel of Wari port is 5.6 meters and that is at a permissible tide when the tide is up at about 1.5 to 2 meters then it can come to about 5.8 and the vessels that would take cargo into war reports there's none of them under commercial sense that should be less than seven eight nine meters so there is every tendency that no big Merchant vessel can call war reports. And then NPA owned a port in Sapele. The port has been taken over by the Nigerian Navy. Na the Nigerian Navy is an agency or an arm of government. NPA is a property, I mean, it's an arm of government. So why would you surrender what you built for the purpose of growing trade to a military arm? And up to today, you are talking about port reforms. You are not telling the Navy, I need my port back. What is it that you came to do in Sapele that you have not completed that is still making you occupy Sapele port? How do you now encourage trade to the Onicha, to Benin, to Sapele, to other aspects? Because the government that created the Sapele port was not mad in their thinking when they cited Sapele port. Because they were heavy palm produce, rubber, timber. The biggest factory in a, a timber factory in Africa, AT&P, which was owned by UAC, were major exporter of timber. All of this were done. Now, today, if the government want to encourage what is called improving and revitalizing the ports, what are the major cargo? that was export bound outside Nigeria. You're talking about Port Harcourt ports. What is the draft at the pier that's at the jetty? What is the draft at the channel? The only port that is enhanced in Port Harcourt is the Oner, which is Intel. And that is called oil and gas port. 